What is going on guys, Carlos here from Live Gaming Paradise and we are back again with another Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild tutorial. This time we are doing the Healer Rail Shrine and this one is a cool one, I really like this one. It's called Drifting Healer Rail Shrine. So the first part of this puzzle is you just jump, jump on a raft and cross over to the other side. I don't know if this is a raft or plank, I think a plank is just a, a strip of wood and a raft is many strips of wood. But I digress. So uh, then we just create some, uh, get your uh, cryonis and create some ice blocks. And this is the easiest way I found to do it because you're going to need to collect something halfway through. So um, I was looking in here to see if there was any chests hiding behind here, but the chest is actually not in here. It's in the middle of this uh, body of water. So just jump over to your um, newly created block, create another block further down. You can also jump on top of the rafts, but um, if you want to collect that chest over there, this is going to be the easiest way to do it. So now you'll be able to switch over to your magnesis and get the chest out of the water. The easiest way I find is to put it like on solid ground, so I put it right there and I know it's not going to go anywhere. So once you do that, you can just jump off to the plank, because all the planks are blocked by the ice blocks and cross over to the other side and get what's inside of the chest. I think it's an opal on this one. That's it, an opal. So uh, now we go to the second part and this one you have to be careful. Um, there are some barrels that will explode if they touch you. So extreme care, uh, extreme, you need to be extremely careful in here So or else you're going to have to start all over from the beginning. So you see that there's a chest floating about going around and around and around and there's like three or four barrels of, uh, with skulls on them uh, that are following the chest. So what I'm trying to do here is pushing the ch push the chest over towards me and at the same time I want to create like a little barrier so you can trap all of the uh, all of the barrels and they won't uh, annoy me when I have to cross over to the other side. Once I'm sure that uh, the chest is really near me I'll just create a nice block under the chest and then lift off up to chest so now I can climb up the ice block and see what's inside. It's going to be some frozen arrows in this one. So once you do that then we're ready to cross over to the other side but first we've got to destroy the wall that is blocking our path. So get your bombs, your round ones, I think they're called remote bombs if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, and just throw one to the other side and explode it as soon as it hits the wall or when it gets near the wall and that should get rid of that wall and unlock the path so you can go and get your orb. Once you do that, as you can see behind me, all of the barrels are getting trapped in there, so they're not going to annoy me. And because I start making the ice blocks on the right hand side, the first ice blocks they're gonna get destroyed when I create a new one is gonna be the first ones and they're not doing anything anyway. So it's just a thought that it's a, uh, an easier way to do this than, um, than you know, um, if you're going without creating the ice blocks and doing it like I did. Now all you need to do is go and collect your orb. I guess this is it for this video guys, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, if this video helped you, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content like this. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.